see. So what should I take pictures of to support my FEMA application? We recommend you take pictures of everything. It's gonna sound crazy, but we recommend 400 photos or up to four hours of video. All of that said, do not send photos to FEMA. And I'm gonna explain why. The reason being FEMA's system is not uh, one that has good quality photos on FEMA's side. They're generally black and white and they can be grainy. This comes from FEMA representatives who have told us this. So it is much better that you keep all these photos as evidence, especially to use with insurance adjusters if you have insurance or when a FEMA inspector comes to your home. You can show the inspector these photos, but you really wanna make sure you have all these photos. And what's more important with a FEMA appeal is to list out all the damages. List out all the personal property items that you have lost and identify parts of the structure of your home if you are a homeowner who has occupied the home at that time of the disaster, list out the structured structural damages. You also, if you are a homeowner, want to get contractor estimates, line item contractor estimates that you can share with FEMA to prove that you have extra damages. So photos, very important, every last thing, but they're for your own records.